A girl asks her best friend to be her plaster model, but halfway through the plaster, she ran out to answer the phone. The informed plaster kept dripping down, blocking her breathing hole, and her best friend was suffocated. She was suffocated alive. It wasn't until an hour later, the girl returned to class after a phone call. Thinking that her best friend was still in the cast, she slowly walked towards her girlfriend, only to see that the breathing hole was already blocked by the cast. She then realized that she was dead. After that, she fled home in a panic. She didn't call the police. She didn't say anything. She thought the rest of her life would be peaceful. But after after that day, she had nightmares every night. There was always a plaster monster chasing her. Even her family and friends, they were killed one by one. After countless nightmares, the girl had a nervous breakdown. She apologized to her best friend's plaster figure, apologizing over and over. In a trance, she saw her best friend appear behind her and hugged her tightly. She says, live your life, I don't blame you. And then she disappeared. Finally, the girl let go of the knot. She started a new life at school because of one mistake. A mistake that cost her best friend her life. But she didn't call the police first. Instead, she was tortured to the point of mental breakdown. She realized that she had done something wrong. But is that really repentance?